I guess as I grew older, I totally didn't even think of the career as an option because my family was more into college, things like that. Mm -hmm. And so I decided, you know, it's something that I wanted to do for myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what brought me back to cosmetology was trying to get licensed so I could be able to service others, not just with makeup, but nails, hair, and um, styling for events, special events. Mm -hmm. I attend part-time, okay. so it's taken me a bit longer. So I've been here at the school for a while, connected with all the instructors, administrators. Kind of feels like family. <laughs> I have about a month left. It feels a little um, surreal. It feels, I was telling a friend, classmate, that it's kind of almost emotional because we've been here so long and now we're at the end of everything preparing for state board. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm a year into school, I can't say it's just makeup. Uh -huh. It's everything. Okay. I love nails. I love facials, esthe the esthetician side. Mm -hmm. I love, um, yeah, hair color, cutting. I mean, men's cuts, literally everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think the servicing others is definitely appealing and it definitely feels good to make somebody else feel good. Mm. But at the same time, it's also the creation. Um, I was in the Beauty and Vision Awards and I was actually in the top three as a finalist. So I represented Ogle in that. Being able to create something like that and seeing that vision manifest and then get me to the top three I just got back from Los Angeles where we celebrated that achievement. It's awesome. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. It and was that's a great segue. Let's let's talk yeah. a little bit about BEA. When my instructor kind of sat us down in class one day and she showed us the video of the Beauty and Vision Awards. And so I mean the video starts off with models walking down the runway, just like lights, cameras, the music. And that's what was initially where, what drew me mm -hmm. to cosmetology, you know, the mm -hmm. runways, the yep. fashion. So seeing it all tied together was like, that's it. That's where I want to be. That's my goal. You know, the process of creating and, you know, drawing out the creation. That was the first time I ever did something like that. Um, and it was satisfying. I mean, Everything that I could have imagined it was, uh -huh. it, 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 it exceeded it, 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 that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, just with my classmates becoming a team, working one on one with my instructors, getting to be mentored by Wella experts. Wella graciously invited me, as well as the other finalists and the winner of the star category, and then all the other winners. And that was an amount of like 10 people. So we shared like a very intimate nice. time over there. So to be able to connect with people who are already um, so far ahead in their career, it kind of gave me hope to yeah. keep trugging along just because um, I feel like the pressure from the ending of school is like, you're like, well, you know, the doubts come yeah. and the fears come and you're just kind of sure. questioning everything. So to be there amongst others who are so accomplished. We even got to see Sonia Dove wow. and a global ambassador from Brazil and meet like one on one. So it was just like, okay, keep believing yeah. in the dream and keep continuing on the path. It was a really big step for me to do this for mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. and to go out on this journey. I see people passing me in the halls and they're just congratulating me and you know they're like that's the girl who's the finalist and it's like it took me a while to process you can have everything if you just go out there and grab it yep. and i think that was the biggest thing that my instructor did is like lay it out on the table and i was like okay i'm picking it up and i'm <laughs> i'm running with yeah. it and it got me here so if you believe that you can do it you can i yeah. mean it's just a matter of making that decision and chasing it and not giving up and continue to work hard and I think you'll see the fruits of your labor.